You don't have to have a fancy degree in order to perform ecology research techniques. So if you're curious about the bird community in your neighborhood, here's an easy ecology field method you can do right in your own backyard. A point count is a way ecologists and ornithologists estimate the populations of birds in a given area. And if point counts are done consistently in the same place, they can be used to track declines or growth in those populations. To do a point count, you'll need a piece of paper or a notebook and a writing utensil, as well as your binoculars. You'll also need a watch or an alarm on your phone to keep track of the time. I'd also leave kids and pets inside, as noise or activity in your yard could scare away the birds. Good morning. Most backyard birds, especially songbirds, are most active in the morning, so here we are. To do a point count, pick a point in your study area. In my backyard, my fire pit seems like an obvious choice. Once standing at that point, estimate out a distance from that point in a circle. The radius of my circle is going to extend from the fire pit to that near corner of my yard. As I turn in a circle at my point, I mentally draw the circle through landmarks in my yard. If you don't want to just hold the circle in your head, you can also use your piece of paper to draw a point count map. Here's the center point and the circle of distance, as well as a few landmarks. Once you've determined your point count circle, it's time to start counting. Different organizations and research projects will do their point counts for different amounts of time, but the time limit is always consistent for any individual research project. I recommend doing your backyard point count for three or five minutes, but if you really like birds, you could do a point count for as much as 10 minutes. Start your timer and, without moving from your center point, start counting birds. You'll need to keep your eyes and ears open and constantly be turning on your point so that you collect data from your entire circle. Count any individual birds you see or hear singing within your circle during the time, but only count each individual once. That means if I see a goldfinch in this tree and during the three minutes it flies to that tree, I only count it once, even though it appeared at two different spots within my circle. Use your binoculars if you need to. And it's okay if you don't recognize all of the birds you see or hear. If you see or hear something you can't immediately identify, write down a short note so that you can look it up later. Once your timer goes off, you're done with your point count. Well, the mosquitoes are really distracting, but uh, in that three minute count, I got two morning doves, a cardinal, a house sparrow, and a wren. And there was maybe like one other thing like peeping in the bushes, but I couldn't find it and it was just peeping. It wasn't making like a call that was distinct enough for me to be able to write down notes, but that's pretty okay. Um, there are often more birds in my yard, but this is a little later in the spring than I was hoping to do this. But uh, if I did a point count like this consistently in my yard for a few days every spring, I'd probably have a pretty good idea of the sorts of birds that live in my general neighborhood. So we did a point count. So are you ready to become a backyard scientist? If you do a backyard or neighborhood point count, I'd love to hear about all of the birds you recorded as part of your data. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it. If you didn't like this video, please share it with someone who would. And if you'd like to support The Roving Naturalist, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. Then go check out my Patreon page. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.